to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a quick take on three, um, three new Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement products to me. They're not necessarily all new, they're new to me. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys know that um, I was on the uh, the round table that, that they do with um, David and uh, and Rico and you know I was mentioning to Doug on the show man I really want to try a synthetic brush and he said you know one's on the way and you know I was kind of like alright whatever but you know man I'll tell you something uh, Doug Doug does what he says Doug is a real dude and the world would be a lot, lot better off if there were more people like Doug because a lot of people just talk and, and Doug does, you know, I, I can talk sometimes myself to be honest with you, but Doug is a doer and you know, I got a package within 10 days and it had a bottle of um, one of the guys that was on the round table with that did a video on already, uh, an aftershave slash cologne called San Santalum Fumis that David and, and Doug did fabulous uh, sandalwood fragrance and then Doug also sent me three uh, Phoenix products including the um, the brush so let's get right into the brush first now this is what it looks like I'm not a hundred percent sure I have the model down it looks like a boar's hair right so this is a synthetic brush and I think it's called the checkmate and the description on the website is the checkmate is a rather handsome piece of shaving hardware a solid brush a good weight great balance feels extremely comfortable in the hand the suave synthetic teddy bear hair knot will be reminiscent of of a certain other brush in the market currently but quite denser larger and more tightly packed i think they're talking about plasana could be wrong uh plus set deeper to provide more backbone there is a fall foul fox fake uh antique ivory handle a truly striking feature a more elegant touch you would expect on a more uh costly brush now this is a really heavy handle um i think this is the not the fake ivory handle this looks like badger to me guys I have a $300 or, or high $200 um, custom shave Mac brush that has a, also a fake ivory handle. This one retails for around that $30 price point. This one is um, a much better brush. I'm just being honest with you. It's heavier. Uh, I think it lathers better. The bristles are just as soft. No animals were harmed in making this. I will never buy another boar's hairbrush or badger hairbrush. And I probably um, won't use boar's or badger that much, any, much anymore. This is a fantastic product. To anyone out there who is looking for their first brush, you can get one of these for in that $30 to $40 price point. And guys, I'm just keeping it 100 it blows brushes three, four, five times the the price out of the water. This is fantastic. This is definitely my favorite brush right now. So that's just that's just the truth. That that that's not because Doug and me are friends. Doug makes the best shit out there right now. Like that's just the truth. Now I want to tell you something else. So I have one Phoenix soap. Uh, it's Speakeasy. I purchased it on my own. I like it. I don't think for me it wasn't anything like up there with uh, Katie's or uh, Tiki. Uh, like I just considered those better soaps. So Doug also has a new shaving. Um, see, this is Crown King. It has a Crown King imprint. I think Crown King was just supposed to be a brush line, but he's also doing soaps now, and. I love the way this soap smells. This is a soap. This one is a Crown King as well, um, made with Pride in Arizona, USA. This one is called Rustler's Ridge, okay? And um, let me see, do I have the description for it? Yeah. The scent of Rustler's Ridge is based on a seasonal summer smell I picked up in the wind recently in Tombstone, Arizona. A woodsy breeze whispering and whistling through the shutters and clap trap of the preserved ghost town, kicking up dust devils and sending me back in time. A timeless, whimsical, wild western scent, aromatic and heavenly. Top notes on this are vanilla, ozone, prickly pear. Heart notes are sage, animalic musk. Base notes, spruce and cedar. And this is vegan. Whoa, this smells so fucking good. I can't even begin to tell you. Honestly, like I've never been in the Wild West. I don't even think I've ever been to a desert before. But I would imagine this is how a desert smells. And I love the sage note in this. This is a $15 
$15 soap and dub, my man, you have done it. You now have a soap that can fuck with the big boys. This is fantastic. That brush and this soap, oh my God, I was in heaven the first time I shaved with these, seriously. So this is an awesome soap. I highly recommend it. When I do my top 10 towards the end of the year, uh, shaving soaps and creams, this will definitely be in it without a doubt, without a doubt. Now he sent me one more thing. And the other thing, you know, I was mentioning that, um, you know, I wanted a, a um, to try a gold dollar razor. Well, Doug doesn't do gold dollar razors. Uh, I think he has Shavettes, but I already, already used the Shavette. It wasn't a pleasant experience. So he sent me something else, okay? He sent me this. And this is, um, it's the Phoenix Open Comb Razor, okay? So you see what it looks like? You see I have my blade in there. It's short handled. And I was sort of like, hmm, you know, <laughs> like I looked at this and I was like, hmm, I had never shaved with a short handle before, but thankfully you can screw or not thankfully because I actually now prefer a short handle, but you can unscrew this and I have Parker in Mercure razors. Um, if I called this a brush before, of course I meant a razor. I have Parker in Mercure, uh, Mercure razors and you can use a long handle if you like. So I sort of, I sort of, you know, what's this one about? And obviously the comb is open and that's great for two reasons. The first reason is, um, and, and, and this is the razor I should have been shaving with all along. First of all, because the comb is open, the razor is able to stay hydrated and lubricated throughout the entire shave. But more importantly, is that I sort of am a buffer. Like I'll go over the same spot a couple of times without relathering and that's really not great. And you know, I know I'm not supposed to do that and I will get a little irritation here and there because of that. But because this is open, this leaves some lather on your face. So you can go over the same spot a few times from a different uh, placement and still have that lather there. So it's actually, for me, a much better way to shave. I'm gonna read you the description on this one. Looks aggressive, no, looks can be deceiving. Ready yourself for a smooth BBS shave, gents. The head on the Phoenix starts where every other OC stops and with good reason. The OC reservoir on the head catch excess lather and water keeping the razor constantly lubricated during the shave. The action also makes the razor, I believe, the world's best buffing razor. If you are a fan of our classic symmetry and name taker knurling, you are going to love the grip on the handle as well, especially you shower shavers. I'm not a shower shaver. Being a collector of vintage razors, I have seen a lot of oddities from yesteryear. Some great concepts and design that never really blew up. I blame this mostly on Gillette's aggressive marketing back in the day. If they couldn't buy out a small razor company, they would bury it. And that's what we have here. Interesting, by the way. The Phoenix Double OC is based on the classic self-lubricating Grand Razor, a masterpiece in both design and concept. It is one of my favorite razors of all time. And again, I don't think it was ever fully evolved or explored after it disappeared into wet shaving history until now. I took the basic design tweaked it and made some slight alterations, removed the dip in the center of the head cap, added a tad more weight to the handle for consistent fulcrum, and hit it with our special brand of knurling. And unlike its grandfather, the razor head will fit a number of standard handles. A perfect razor for the collector and a perfect razor for your daily driver. I am very proud of this and cannot be happier in my effort to bring this baby back to the future. So guys, um, this is, I think this is about $35. This is my favorite razor. Now, this that's not a joke. This is my favorite razor. This is what I use every day now. Uh, I've tried it with the short handle and the long handle. I actually like the short handle better. Uh, this one also has audible feedback. So I know I'm cutting the hair. It makes, a, uh, I think, a very pleasing sound as I, as I cut hair with this one. And this is now my favorite brush. No one's paying me to say these things. I've been given a ton of free shit over the years. I've never spoke about because the product sucked. Like, I'm not gonna talk about some shit that sucks. Even if you send it to me, it's done. I just, it's not worth it to me. It's not worth to to to, to um, tarnish my name to the 2,300 subscribers I built all organically. Like, it would just be stupid. Like, that's worth a lot of money, you know? To get 2,300 subscribers like that, that's worth a lot of money. So certainly, I wouldn't fuck with that for a $20, a $30, even a $1,000 product. So when something is as good as I say it is, it's as good as I say it is. And this is fantastic, this is fantastic, and this is fantastic. You could pop all, you could get all three of these, I think, for around $75, and you'd have a tremendous start 
uh, a tremendous, not even a starter, just a tremendous uh, wet shaving kit in general. So um, I'm immensely pleased with these, Doug. You did a great job, my dude. Anything else you make that you want to send me to have a video about, I am more than welcome to do it. I love how much you love this. You are like the, the, the mad scientist of wet shaving, but the mad scientist that knows what he's doing. Maybe not the mad scientist, the knows what he's doing scientist, the on the ball scientist. That is Doug. Um, I, I I think he he is the most doing the most exciting things in wet shaving right now. You have other people that might be doing uh, creams better than him or other products better than him, but altogether, no one is doing what he's doing in terms of all these products. So. I'm happy to call him a friend. I'm proud to call him a friend. And if you're not checking out what Phoenix is doing, you, my friends, are bumping the fuck out. I will see you later this week with more videos, guys. You know what it is. My name is